uh, One Six Galaxies video. Um, today I want to have a little bit of discussion about the tooth, well, the um, recent Hot Toys acquisition video that went up, and more importantly, um, the fact that we are celebrating a couple of uh, anniversaries relating to Star Wars uh, this year. So this discussion is mostly going to be around that, and then I'm hoping to see what you guys think in comments and discussions and stuff. Uh, so. Um, Basically, if you are watching this and you haven't uh, joined the Galaxies page, the link is in the uh, description. Uh, we do have a very small um, community page, um, which then links into the group, and we are almost 500 members. Um, so yeah, um, and if you are in the group, um, invite your friends or someone else that uh, you know collects on that. Um, as said, we really focus on Australian uh, release dates and prices and things like that, but we do, or I do, uh, pick up some figures that you don't really see around, like the Asmus and Asgore, I haven't seen too many reviews around that, uh, the sideshow Clint Eastwood um, that I just did recently, uh, so there's this stuff um, like that, and then I have a lot of the um, 3.0 stuff as well. Um, anyway, um, so basically this is the video that Hot Toys uh, put up um, on the 1st of January that announced uh, what's coming. I have muted it so that way we don't get in trouble for their music and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is what we got. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it was uh, some really quick flashes there. Um, they're probably going to be doing an updated John Wick. They're going to be maybe doing an updated um, Flash, um, updated Ant-Man, Wasp, etc. Um, but what we saw was the 20th anniversary of Clone Wars and the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Now, what's really interesting is <clears throat> the... 20th anniversary of Clone Wars is the 20th anniversary of that 2003 micro series uh, that was on Cartoon Network. Um, it was good for the time. Um, I mean, I enjoy parts of it. It's not my favourite thing ever because uh, there's very little dialogue. And I mean, basically, it was one of those Cartoon Network uh, filler things when it first came out. So they were very limited with what they could do because they weren't given much time. Um, Originally, I think each segment was 10 minutes, if that. Uh, I could be wrong about that. But I, I remember seeing it in 2003 in, in segments. Um, and it wasn't until uh, the DVDs came out, um, or now that it's up on Disney+, Plus, uh, that you could have watched it in one sitting in its uh, entirety. Uh, so that um, 20th anniversary, of course, we get more Spider-Man. So there it is there. Uh, Clone Wars 20th, 20th anniversary logo. Um, now, I don't know whether this is a marketing decision from a director, rather, uh, from Lucasfilm, or whether it's something that Hasbro just started doing and now Hot Toys might be copying them and going on the same type of uh, tangent as them. But this is uh, the vintage collection line. Um, so we can see Commander Blitz um, in his um, Phase 2, so quite late in the 2008 Clone Wars series. He has the 20th anniversary logo on his packet. Cult. Again, a very late character to the 2008 series, Clone Wars 20th. Um, and then, no surprise, um, 20th anniversary. So we have three Clone Commanders. Arguably all quite popular and arguably all looking quite awesome um, in vintage collection cards from the 2008 series, quite late in the 2008 series, mind you, um, with the 20th anniversary logo. Now, that um, brings me to what we got as our first kind of um, reveal. We got this very awesome looking 
maybe one can I be? Um, we won't scroll through all of them, but uh, we all saw the pictures. I um, quite cool. He has his helmet, very nice touch. Got the armor, um, lightsaber, etc. Uh, and then this is the uh, final picture with the Anakin and binoculars and everything else. Um, now, what's interesting is, if we have a look at the 2008 Clone Wars figure released day one by Hasbro, it's pretty much the exact same outfit that Hot Toys has produced, uh, minus the jetpack. Um, I can't remember if he used the jetpack. It's been so long since I've watched that live-action movie, or the, the pilot, uh, so to say. Um, but uh, I think we can all pretty much agree that it's the same outfit. Uh, but he's got this cape. Now this cape is from the 2003 micro series, uh, where he wore the full. Um... I'll see if I can find it. Actually, it's probably the only image I should have uh, preloaded up as well. Um, there it is. There. Uh, so they've modified it um, to have the cape draping over, um, but yeah, the the cape is the only thing uh, from the micro series. Everything else you see here, even the Satan Christensen, um, Anakin, it's from 2008. So I'm under the impression that Hot Toys moving forward may copy. Hasbro, where we're going to get a, a line of figures from the 2008 Clone Wars uh, with this 20th anniversary logo, because it's the name Clone Wars that has reached 20, more so than animated series. Um, personally, I would hope we get a Captain um, Fordo, I think his name is, uh, the Red Arc Trooper, um, and then the Alpha Arc Trooper, which is the grey guy. Um, if you get those two arc troopers, that would be really easy reprint uh, repaints for Hot Toys. Um, I would be happy with that from the 2003 Marker series. Um, I think Dirge is maybe a little bit too out there. Um, Ventress, maybe. Um, Sideshow have a Ventress uh, from that era, which is quite nice. Um, so maybe Hot Toys may do a massive update on that, or they may go with the 2008 paint apps. Um, but the fact that we have uh, live action. Um, we ha we don't have a live action actress for Ventress yet, uh, so that is um, interesting. They may they may go the two thousand and three rate for Ventress, maybe. Yeah, so um, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you hope to see? Um, do you think that we are just going to get two thousand and eight? Um, because this is the other thing I was going to show off as well. Uh, this is the Black series from London. Uh, this was the last Comic Con of twenty twenty two. Uh, and we can see 20th anniversary Ahsoka definitely wasn't around before 2008. Um, Magna Guard, I think we got Magna Guards in the original series, uh, and then just a basic clone, um, which overall. Uh, so these two can be overall. Uh, this one we definitely know uh, didn't appear before 2008. Um, yeah, so um, I want to have a discussion on what you think is going to come out. Uh, in terms of this uh, 20th anniversary Clone Wars, uh, and of course I am keen to know what a lot of uh, people are keen to see. Um, keeping with the live action theme and the fact that we got the Mace Windu with the Clone Wars gauntlets, um, they may do that Ket Fisto that we saw um, a couple of years ago now. Um, that would be very nice if they gave him the um, the armor, which I think would be very hard to do for someone like Ket Fisto. Uh, so I wouldn't expect the armor, but um, I have the old Sideshow Kefisto. I don't really see any reason to update other than the body. Um, but yeah, if we get Kefisto, that would be nice. Um, again, Kiyoti Mundi may be too obscure. Um, Plo Koon would be a must. Um, especially if he had the 2008 gauntlet, Saber gauntlet. Um, and he could have the same thing as Windu where he has the shin pads and the gauntlet. Well, Windu doesn't come with the shin pads, but if Plo Koon had the shin pads and the gauntlet, that would be fine. Um, he definitely had a jetpack in one of his episodes. Um, in terms of Clone Wars, Thyre would be, uh, excellent because we, we got Apo, and so Thyre would just be a reprint of Apo, um, unless they did a season one Thyre, which would be the phase one clone trooper, uh, in more of a... Um, 501st paint scheme but red um, so 
yeah, there's um, a whole heap that they could do. Um, now, in terms of the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, I'm thinking we probably will get an Unmaster Vader. Uh, too soon after the Kenobi Vader, I don't know. Uh, it would have to be damn impressive for me to get another Vader. Um, I'm thinking they skipped ESB Han. We might get a Return of the Jedi Han, maybe an updated Chewbacca. Um, yeah, I don't know. Return of the Jedi is a tough one. Um, General Lando would be a really easy repaint for them to do because they already have the sculpt, um, but the outfit is quite complicated, so um, who knows? Um, so yeah, let me know what you want uh, for terms of the 20th anniversary and the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Um, anyway, guys, as I said, uh, the community page link um, is under the group link in the description uh, of this video. So um, yeah, please join if you haven't already done so. And like I said, uh, invite your friends or whatever. Um, and see how we can go. Uh, I think it's going to be a massive, um, despite all the Marvel movies and stuff still coming out, I think they're really going to start pushing Star Wars again. Um, because I think there's just way too many anniversaries coming up, and um, the especially the clones, the cash grab opportunity is definitely there. Uh, I also, one last thing, I think we may actually get the Golden Shreepio, finally, for Return of the Jedi. But, um, again, it's a big maybe. Anyway guys, um, thanks for watching, click those links if you're not already in the group, and I appreciate the discussion that's going to come out of this.